Good evening Philippines, this is Mike Padua and we are back to our analysis for this Friday until Monday, October 29 to November 1st, 2021. And this is brought to you by Typhoon 2000. So let's begin with our update. Here's the uh, latest graph set. Beginning today, Friday until tomorrow, Saturday, we still have the early existence of the Northeast monsoon affecting now the whole of Luzon, including Metro Manila, Bicol region, and extending down across uh, eastern Visayas. So these areas will have uh, partly sunny to cloudy skies with passing rain showers and thunderstorms, particularly along the areas of summer provinces. Okay. While the rest will have some uh, partly sunny to cloudy skies with uh, rain showers passing by, especially in the afternoon or evening. While across uh, the Visayas, Mimaropa, this will be under the influence of the northeasterly surface wind flow or the um, weaker Amihan. Okay, so enjoy the uh, slightly cooler weather, although it's still uh, hot, around 28 to 30. But in the next few months, it will start to go down. The temperature will be uh, uh, going down to at least 20, 21 degrees, particularly along uh, the areas of Luzon. And uh, we have here two quasi-stationary low high-pressure areas over China, which is uh, generating these uh, winds known as the Amihan, or the Northeast Monsoon. And uh, outside of PAR, uh, we have uh, Typhoon Malu, which is now uh, transitioning into a uh, extratropical cyclone, becoming a mid-latitude cyclone as it accelerates at a speed of 50 kph with winds uh, of only 110 kph. So this system has been downgraded into a tropical storm, and it's no longer uh, a threat to any portions of the Western Pacific uh, the Joint Typhoon Warning Center has already issued the final warning on this system. While over to the south of uh, the Marianas, near the equator, we are keeping an eye on another LPA which formed yesterday. This is LPA 90W, which is embedded within this surface trough. So uh, this system has a uh, low chance of becoming a tropical cyclone within the next uh, 24 hours, but uh, the uh, American model within the next five days this could become the next tropical cyclone but the good news the tracking is again it will recurve with a similar track to Malu while uh, the uh, European model doesn't show any development just the uh, northeast monsoon until November 6 or 7 so that will be our dominant weather system uh, for the next uh, week and until uh, the 6th of November. So this uh, All Saints Day, All Souls Day, although the, uh, the cemeteries are closed because of the ongoing pandemic, uh, the weather conditions will be good. But sometimes there are passing rains because of this northeasterly monsoonal flow, while uh, Visayas will be under the weaker northeasterly wind flow. While Mindanao will have uh, normal weather, but expect rains and thunderstorms because of the ongoing La Nina phenomenon. So let's take a look at the fast animation. There you go. Here's the fast moving system. Once Typhoon uh, Malu becoming an extratropical cyclone, while the Northeast Monsoon continues to affect our country, and uh, the LPA here, 90W, is struggling to organize. Now let's take a look at the uh, zoom in satellite animation. This is from windy.com. So you can clearly see here there are lots of uh, cloudiness and some patches of small thunderstorms affecting northern summer and some portions of eastern summer and also uh, uh, localized thunderstorms across Mindanao and some Wanga Peninsula in particular and the western sections of uh, Negros. And also some portions of uh, southern uh, Palawan and central Palawan will have some showers and localized thunderstorms brought about by the northeasterly surface wind flow. The rest will just uh, be having some breezy conditions of 30 to 50 kph with some passing drizzles, light rains, but no thunderstorms whatsoever across the affected uh, regions of the 
northeast monsoon. Now let's uh, move now to the latest rainfall accumulation from winter.com. This is from the European model. This is uh, valid for the next 24 hours, 8 a.m. this morning until 8 a.m. tomorrow, Saturday. We could expect some showers here across the eastern seaboards of extreme northern and eastern Luzon, eastern sections of the Bicol region, including uh, Caramuan Peninsula, Catanduanes, eastern Narbay, and Sorsogon, and also across Mimaropa, um, Visayas, and eastern uh, Visayas uh, particularly, and over uh, across uh, Mindanao. Now the rains here will be due to the local local thunderstorms, while here is mainly due to the uh, influence of the uh, uh, northeasterly surface wind flow. If we take a look for the next three days until Monday, the bulk of the rainfall will be uh, over uh, along uh, northern uh, Quezon portions of northern Quezon, uh, Oriental Mindoro, as well as the northern portions of uh, Panay and Negros Island. Uh, and it will be much heavier here across uh, Dinagat and Shergao Islands in the coastal areas of Surigao del Norte, the coastal areas of eastern Leyte, as well as the coastal areas of eastern Samar. And also here, because of the northeasterly wind flow, some rains and thunderstorms will be expected across the eastern seaboards of Palawan and the Sulu archipelago, which includes Kuyu Island. So that's the latest, and if we take a look at the forecast of the wind, rain, and pressure for the next three days, courtesy of the uh, European model, on uh, Saturday, tomorrow afternoon, we could expect rains and thunderstorms across portions of the Visayas, Palawan, and Mindanao because of the uh, convergence of the northeasterly wind flow uh, right here. So expect rainfall here, and also uh, along the eastern seaboards and the northern seaboards of the Bicol region and uh, coastal areas of uh, northern Quezon including Pulilio and Mauban Quezon mm -hmm. and if we take a look on uh, Sunday afternoon we would uh, expect as well uh, some thunderstorms still across Visayas and Mindanao and some showers along the eastern sections of Luzon because of the northeast monsoon and on Monday uh, it looks like uh, the northeast monsoon will still prevail and we expect showers again across the eastern sections of Luzon and some thunderstorms across southern Palawan, Visayas and uh, most uh, uh, frequent over Mindanao because of local thunderstorms since we are in the beginning of the La Nina phenomenon so expect rainfall to always occur across Mindanao and uh, Visayas. So there you go, that's the latest for this Friday until Monday, and we will return next week to give you more update on the weather. From Typhoon 2000, this is Mike Padua reporting. Stay safe always, be hashtag weatherwiser, hashtag typhoonwiser. Happy weekend to all, and thank you so much for watching our channel.